welcome back to my channel you guys i'm natasha if you're new here and if you are go ahead and subscribe now and click that notification bell so you know exactly when i post a new video so today i'm going to be doing a fox eye look i've never done that type of eye look and i want to try it just to see if i can do it correctly um plus i feel like it gives you like flirty eye vibes and since we're getting Closer to February, which Valentine's Day is coming up, I feel like a fox eye look would be a cute date night um, makeup look to wear. So we're gonna try that. Of course, I'm gonna be starting with my foundation. If you wanna see my foundation routine, I'll link a video up here. Click that video if you wanna see how I do my foundation, but I will show you the products that I'm using. And I'm using my NARS um, Soft Matte Foundation in the shade Marquises and my ELF uh, flawless finish foundation in the shade 560 chocolate so for primer I picked up this milk hydro grip primer the travel size one just because I wanted to test it out but when I put it on my face the last time I used it which was a while ago it was like stinging and I know that I had did like um, dermaplaning um, you know when you shave your face with one of those little tools but Maybe that's why I was burning, but I'm gonna try it today. I haven't done anything. I just, you know, did my regular skincare routine. Uh, but I'm gonna try it today and see if it still stings, if it does. But this was really good. Like I put on a mask and everything cause I went out and my makeup wasn't in the mask at all, which was new because typically my makeup always comes off in my mask and I wear like nude color masks. So yeah, it was no makeup, like maybe a little tiny bit, but so that you know did well for that but i do know that elf came out with a dupe for this so i want to try that i want to see if this one stings my face again i'm definitely not going to use it again but if the elf one is just as good as everybody's been saying then i'll just try that one because elf products typically do well on my skin Let's see if it stings. I don't know what was making it sting, but let's see. Let's see if I have that problem again. Okay, so maybe it was just because I shaved my face before I put that on, so don't do that. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna do my foundation routine, then we'll you know, get to the eyes and I'll talk you through what I'm doing on my eyes. Okay, so now that the base is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my eyes. I'm gonna be using my P. Louise base in the shade six. So I didn't bring my concealer down all the way on my lid like I usually do because I wanted to use this instead. And then just blend that out.
Okay, for shadows, I'm gonna be using these two palettes. So the matte book has all of these browns on the bottom, the whole bo bottom row is brown shades, so I may just use that. But the Box of Crayons palette has like a true brown and then a tan, these two. Starting with a fluffy brush, I think I'm gonna go into, I'm trying to see which one looks more like my skin tone because I just wanna use a, a skin tone shade, really. And I think I'm gonna go with the matte book and I'm gonna use that shade right there, the third brown. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid right over that P. Louise base. Okay, now I need to do like a liner. I'm trying to think, do I wanna use a cream liner and then go over it with the shadow? Mm, I think I'm just gonna go with the shadows. So I wanna use these. So I think I'm gonna start with this one because that can be like the, the brown liner. Or do I wanna use the brown? See, this is just me being me in my head. I think I'm gonna go into the box of crayons palette and just use the shade brown as a liner. Hopefully it's dark enough because I don't want it to be black. And I'm just using a small shader brush. If it focuses, yeah, just a small brush like that. And I'm gonna create a wing line, basically. Okay, I am gonna use some of that darker brown shade in the matte book because that looks nice, but I need it to be darker. So I'm just going back and forth between those two browns. And I am bringing it about halfway to my lid, so stopping there. So now I need to do the same thing in my inner corner. So just take your time. I think I'm gonna switch to this brush, which is like a pencil brush. Okay, and so using this pencil brush, I'm gonna go into the brown in the box of crayons palette and just drag some of that up onto my lid. And then go back over my lid with my fluffy brush just to 
make sure there's no creases, no blank spaces. And then for the bottom lid, I'm just gonna go into the brown and tan from the Box of Crayons palette. I'm gonna use my Essence Silky Nude Liner in my waterline. I'm trying not to let my eyes water. So for my lashes, I'm gonna be using these two lashes. I'm gonna stack them. One of them is like fluffy, one of them is spiky. I'm just gonna stack them. So I'm just lining them up and pressing them together. And it gives you a nice fluffy lash. I'm gonna trim it because I wanna give myself the, you know, like elongated eye look. So I'm gonna trim the end. And when you trim, you wanna go slanted. So don't cut straight, slant. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some mascara to my bottom lashes. Okay, so that is it for the fox eyes. And y'all already know, I'm about to do a nude lip. Let's just, I'm sorry y'all. Honestly, I like the way that it looks matte. But y'all know, gloss, I can't, I just, I'm sorry. This is the finished look. I really like the eyes. The eyes do look super flirty when you do the half lash. And since I doubled them, they're extra fluffy and cute. So hopefully I explained what I was doing properly. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. But I mean, this was my first time trying this. It still turned out cute. You could have left the lip matte, but y'all know I just, I have to wear a gloss it's just me I can't I can't leave the gloss alone make sure you subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys in my next one